afternoon everybody, my name is Jacob, back at you with another video. Um, and today I'm just sitting outside and I'm going to be editing some photos on Lightroom. Now I have done a video very similar to this before, last time it wasn't very in depth, not in depth, it just was like a massive time lapse of everything that I do. This time I'm actually going to go through how I do everything step by step, with a few time lapses in between because some of the processes do take a bit longer. Let's get into the video. So as we open up Lightroom, uh, greeted by my catalog. Now these are actually the photos that I have to edit. This is the stage where you go through and you choose your good ones and you basically throw out all your old ones. Now I have a quick, a quick way of doing this. So you double click on your first photo and I don't know, I don't really like this photo. So you go through until you find one you like. I'm gonna use this one. Then you just hit the B key. Now what that does is it adds it to a quick collection. We're gonna go through and yeah, we're gonna choose the photos that we like. So we're gonna do that now. So that is that. We've taken our 333 photos down to 47. So now, basically, what we do is we go over to the develop tab. So here's our first photo. So what you need to do is you go down, I'll usually leave the temperature and the tint the same. I go down, I change the exposure a little bit, you just play with it. It's all about um, trial and error when you're photo editing um, on Lightroom turn up the contrast and if it looks good and or turn it down if it doesn't um, somewhere in the middle looks good for this photo highlights um, I can't actually tell you what all this means you just like play around with it and things change and whatever looks good looks good really so turn the highlights down and the sky comes out a bit more for this photo clarity this kind of just like I don't know how to explain what it does but makes it more naturalistic or something I don't know, then vibrance and that depends on the type of photo really, like a little bit more vibrant and saturation, I don't really touch. Um, photos like this, I usually go down to noise reduction and put it up a little bit and it kind of, I don't know, it, sh it does soften it a little bit. Yeah, so I think that's about it for this photo, that's all I'm going to do, I'm not going to play around with the colours that much. Um, yeah, as I said, this is just basic color, um, basic photo editing, just making it look better. So if we hit the reset button, so it looks like this, go back over here to that, so it does make it look a lot better. So yeah, now I'm just going to go through and do this to all 33 photos. You are doing like a batch of photos, like all these photos that are in the same area with the blue sky in the background and like the same sort of color, colored background and same lighting sort of thing. You can just hit this previous button right here and it will just apply all the effects from the previous photo you edited or the previous photo you were looking at, whether that be forward or backward. The basically previous effects, it's basically like copy and paste, just a lot easier. So that's what I'm going to do here for these photos that were down on the wharf and then as we start to move up into the city, into the parks and stuff, that's when you have to go from the beginning again and you just kind of go along with that pattern. So yeah, now let's go. Alright, so that is the photos edited. Um, that actual edit scheme seemed to work pretty good with all of the photos. Then when you're done, you can you have to click on your last photo, cl shift click on your first photo, go to, so all of them are selected, go to export, um, you can play around with all these settings. So I choose to put mine in a specific folder, so I need to choose, make sure it goes into the right folder, which was the 14th of the 12th choose that it puts in a subfolder called exported um, go down turn my watermark simple Jacob guiding productions edited I don't know why and then after export do nothing you hit export and you wait for them to export so that is basic photo editing in Lightroom. I hope you guys have found this useful if you had no idea how to use Lightroom this is this is all self-taught um, not really any 
um, help from YouTube or anything, just jumped on and started playing around with it. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Don't, for, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and the little notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video. And, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.